So hi there everybody, we're now in our next video. I think this will be our last video, okay, for the linear Diophantine equations. Um, I just searched, it can be pronounced in the US English as Diophantine, so in, in Britain, so it's Diophantine. Anyways, let's carry on with that pronunciation, it doesn't matter. Um, this is now, again, still part of our number three um, playlist. So after that um, second video on the theorem, where it shows the general solution, and the solvability of linear different equations so we're going to have now actually up after that um that theorem okay has an interesting and very useful corollary so again a corollary is just a um an after effect of one theorem okay so just a, a little tweak of that theorem so the corollary states that if the gcd of that certain linear different equation is one then the linear different equation ax plus by plus c is solvable and the general solution is given by this there so this is our general solution if it if it is if the gcd is one that is to say it is they are relatively prime the coefficients so therefore our general solution would be x equals x sub zero plus b times t and then we have y equals y sub zero minus a times t where x sub zero and y sub zero is a particular solution of that linear difference in equations so to show one a set of examples from the second video the theorem and then this corollary so what i will what we will show now is an example okay shall we have it so here okay so this example tells us to determine whether the linear difference in equations, these equations, are solvable or not. So we're not asked to find some solutions, but it, we're only asked if it is solvable or not. So let's see. Okay. Um, before we answer, we'll try to recall some important note that, um, you know, recall the, the theorem 2. Try to recall um, what does it say. Uh, what does it state rather um i'll just give you the, the the first part not really the second part because we're only asked if it is solvable or not um it tells us that the lde the linear different equation of this form ax plus by equals c is solvable solvable um if and only if Let's use that mark. If only if D divides C. Okay. What is D where D is equal to their GCD? Um, I think it can't fit where where D is equal to the GCD of the coefficients of the coefficient of X and Y. Okay, the GCD of a and b okay so let's try to answer this one two three examples and tell if they are solvable or not solvable given this um corollary in this theorem here so let's try for number one we have um, re um 12x plus 18y equals 30. so first i think we need to find the gcd of a and b so in this example um solution let's try write it down solution so for number one okay number one we have let's try to write again the equation the lde 12x plus 18y equals 30. now um we first need to get the gcd of uh, a and b so if you want to have that um what is that um uh if you want we can write it as you know like solving it for it so we can have uh, 12 is 2 times 2 times 3 that's 3 that's 4 times 3 18 is 2 times 9 so that's 3 times 3 right and then we can see that the common numbers um, between them is the 2 which is common and the other 3 over here so that those are the common numbers so what is the GCD or there yeah the GCD 
therefore, um, let's give some space. So therefore, uh, the GCD, the GCD of um, 12 and 18 is equal to what? 2 times 3. Okay, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Okay, so the GCD is 6, so we can say now that um, the GCD of uh, 12 and 18 is equal to 6. Okay, and we can see, um, basing on this theorem here above, that it is solvable if D divides C. So if the GCD divides the letter C. So we can see, um, and indeed, 6 is a factor of 30. Okay, 6 is a factor of 30. So but by um, the theorem in the LDE, in the linear difference in equations, so we can say, so the LDE, the LDE, was that 12x, 12x plus 18y equals 30. Okay, this one is is solvable or has a solution. Yes, solvable. Um, what we mean when you say when we say it is solvable is that it has a solution. It has a solution. Okay, so that's for number one. Let's see um, for number two. What does number two present to us? Let's put it all the way up. Okay. Up you go. Okay, for number two. So let's try, try to recall that number two looks like. Um, for number two, we have 2x plus 3y equals 4. Um, again, we need to find the the GCD of 2 and 3. And I think it's very much obvious that they are relatively prime because both of them are prime, obviously. So we can see that um, this is based on our corollary. Okay, So based on our corollary, if the GCD of 2 and 3, if the GCD of any A and B numbers, any pair of numbers A and B is 1, that is they're relatively prime. So it will be, um, we can say so by the above corollary by the above let's just call it there um technically it should have a name like corollary one corollary two like that of corollary uh, we can conclude okay um 2x the lde the lde 2x plus 3y equals 4 has a solution or shall we say um, is solvable yeah again the other word for is solvable is has a solution okay so you can change this into has a solution now for number three how about this number three recall that we are given the equation the linear difference equation 6x plus 8y equals 25 okay so we can see that the GCD of um, 6 and 8, what is their GCD? Um, 6 is 2 times 3. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So yeah, the common number there is only 2. That's their greatest common divisor or common factor. Um, I think you can see that from here. So since 2 is the GCD, let's try. Um, does 2, okay, does 2 divides 25? Or is 2 a factor of 25? Well, you can see and we can verify that it is not. Okay, so it is 2 does not divide 25 or 2 is not a factor of 25. So by the theorem, by our previous theorem that we have shown, so we can say, so the LDE, the linear defense and equation, 6x plus 8y equals 25 is not solvable. Or it doesn't have any solution is not solvable or it doesn't have any any solution yeah okay so that's it for this video um, what we have shown is a corollary from the previous theorem and then we have given or cited some examples of how to tell if these um, linear different integrations are solvable or not
So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you will like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye!